Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. A few weeks back, we posted a video of our first haul of the Gen Y Hitch. If you're not familiar with that video, you can click that link right here. While well, Erica over at Halo View, she saw our video and our initial troubles we were having trying to line the hitch up over the ball, and she offered to send us a backup camera to review. So this week, we're super excited to show you the installation process and what all was involved to mount these cameras. I think you're gonna be pretty impressed. I know I was. So without further ado, let's get to it. All right, it's like Christmas in July. Let's see what Halo View sent us in this package. Let's see, this is the BT6 Touch. This is the touch screen monitor for the camera system. This kit includes the BTC 128 camera for the back of the camper. This is the BTC 126. This should be the backup camera I'm gonna put on the toolbox that'll help us back up and hitch up. Some coax cable and antenna. Hmm, let's see what's in this box. Okay, a power cable, and I'm not really sure what these rubber straps are for. I'll have to do a little more research on this. Well, the first thing I noticed is the packaging is very good. There's lots of foam surrounding all the components. It's very well protected. Everything's in its own little private compartment. I'm going to call this the cargo camera. Uh, this is one I'm going to put on the toolbox to help with uh, hooking up the hitch to the gooseneck. And I tell you, this thing, at first glance, is a substantial piece of equipment. It's very sturdily built, it appears. Um, yeah, this thing looks like it is very high quality. I'm anxious to get this hooked up and see what it looks like. So it looks like the camera, is, it magnetizes. So this will be perfect for on the toolbox. I can mount this plate under the toolbox and then this will just magnetize to this plate i want to show you something so far very impressive check out this uh this magnet's power i can't even move it i'm trying with all i have this thing does not move this thing is going to go on there and stay this is really nice I can't even move it. I don't know how I'm gonna get that off. It is quite on there. there. there got it. Whew. Impressive. So it says before you use this, you should fully charge it. It says when a mobile power supply is first used or stored for a long time. Um, that it may gradually discharge automatically. It should be charged before use. It says, please note that the best performance can be achieved only after two or three full charging and discharging cycles, which that makes perfect sense. You've got to create the whole load pattern for it. So we'll get this thing charged up and then we'll uh, take a look and see how it'll attach to the, the truck. I will say that the equipment so far, at least that BC-126, that looked really really interesting looks like it's very good quality from what i can tell from the outside we'll know once we get it hooked up once again the packaging is fantastic everything is really surrounded by foam and everything's in its own little individual compartments it's very well protected i'm very impressed by this here's the touchscreen monitor This is the BTC-128 backup camera for the back of the camper. Once again, these cameras are solid and well constructed. You can tell right away that they're built to last, which is crucial when you're on the road as much as we are. Now our camper is supposed to be pre-wired for a backup camera. I've never taken the cover off to look at the wiring, but it appears this camera is supposed to be wired to hook right up into the factory wiring. Man, I hope that's true. I don't mind telling you I have my doubts. I've read so much online about people having trouble with their wiring. I'm really not looking forward to troubleshooting a wiring problem. All right, we're going to see if we can uh, mount this backup camera on the bottom of the toolbox to help with us loading up the camper and being able to see the goose box when it gets near the hitch. So, I'll show you what we got going on here. All right, so there's the goose box. And the toolbox right in front of it there. I'm going to mount 
this camera right there on it so it's looking down at the ball and we'll be able to see when we're in position so let me see if i can get up there and get this cleaned up we've got this mounting plate and we've got a couple of uh, cleaning supplies here to use so we'll get up there and get cleaning on it so we can mount it up all right so Instructions here say to clean the place to be pasted to ensure that the surface is dust free, water free, and oil free. You tear open the package and take out the adhesion promoter. Wipe the position to be pasted and wait for a few seconds. After that, you can paste stuff on the surface. Please press firmly after pasting. So I'm going to do it right about in here. And uh, we'll use these three items I have there and I'm going to put that on. So, let me get the cleaner. All right, let me get this untaped. This is just supposed to push firmly and then wait a little bit before you put it on there. But uh, look at this. That thing there sticks really good. And then, all right, in here. Here it comes up. I'll reposition that just a little bit more so I can see the in front of the ball just a little bit. Let me try that. All right, that's uh, after I repositioned it, and that looks really good. I should be able to see everything I need to to back up when we go over that now. Okay, now that was easy. I'm telling you, it doesn't get much simpler than that. No wiring or cables to run. Just take it and charge it inside, then stick it to the spot you need it and turn on your monitor. What more could you want? The image on the monitor looks great. This is a game changer. Wow, I don't usually run into technology products that work that simple for me. I know I said it before, but it bears repeating. I'm impressed. Now, I just hope the shoe doesn't drop on the next install. Let's see if we can get that backup camera installed on the camper without any trouble. Fingers crossed. So I took the outer plate off for the factory wired um, component and exposed the factory wiring. And it looked a lot like this, I was real happy. But upon further examination, I realized that it wasn't like this, but they did send me this adapter. And so this adapter, you just put it in like this right here, twist it, it's locked. And then this will actually plug into the factory wiring that we have. All right, so I'm going to Put this in here. And they provide all the screws. Push this through 
through the gasket, the lip side up towards the camera. And we will ensure that this gasket, that the lip is all the way around the outer edge right there. And then this thing is ready to go up, plug this in. Here. here we go. Let's go back into the wall. Check the gasket, make sure it's all the way in. It's not all the lips are out of the way. Looks like a, a little bit of work to do down here. Even going back in the same holes that the old one came out of. Very nice. Simple is easy. Love simple. All right, install this antenna on it, and then we will uh, get it paired up to the monitor. All right, we have it all hooked up, and then came in the truck, hooked up the monitor, went onto the back, and uh, pushed the button on the camera for pairing. Came in, there was no signal. I'm going to turn the headlights to the on position and then the monitor finds it and comes on. We have backup camera. And then you can touch the screen. Here's channel one, channel two, channel three, up to four channels. Um, you can even put this little thing on right here and it gives you your backup guidelines. Uh, that's pretty nice right there. That'd be nice backing into a campsite. So this is a plug-and-play system guys. This is really nice. I'm uh, really happy with this so far. Well, I figured out what the rubber straps were for. They went on the back of the monitor to mount the unit to the rear view mirror. I'm telling you, this experience just keeps getting better. So far, I'm very happy with the camera system and I'm looking forward to using it. We want to get some actual operating time with this unit before we absolutely 100% endorse the product, but I have to tell you, I'm practically sold on it already. When we get some actual time with the unit, we'll be making another video to tell you about our experience. Then we'll list it on our website, RambleReflections.com, in our store. So stay tuned for our next video to give an informed opinion. If you're already sold on the unit, you can buy them through HaloView.com. Thanks for watching this week. If you like what we're doing, please hit that subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up and don't forget to ring that bell so you won't miss a single notification. Till next week, stay safe out there. We'll see you next week.